Okay, so the camera starts recording. Sorry. Hello everyone, welcome to another LEGO stream. Uh, this is going to be a bit longer than the last one. I have three sets to build today. Uh, they are the Rogue One Hover Tank, which I already have one, but this one was on sale for about £15, so I grabbed one. Uh, Krennic Shuttle from Rogue One. Uh, I got that one mainly for the figures. And um, Battle on Takodana, uh, basically Mazda's Castle. Um, again, I got this one mainly for the figures, and we're actually going to start with this one. So, that's the set, and the other two are ready to be built. So, as I said, this one's going to be a bit longer because I've got three sets to do, and one of them is actually quite big. Uh, over the box. I'm also joined by... Uh, we've got uh, Mascot, if you're not a fan of um, MGO's Transformers reviews then you won't, it's a Bionicle. And a Lego K9, got Chirrut, Base, a Character, Building Dalek, and a Rebel Trooper. Number one, number two, number one. I am actually starting to build up a collection of brick separators. But, oh. Don't think I'll be needing my uh, orange bucket today. Okay, so first we're going to be building the door section and the two troopers. This one you get the Traitor Trooper and a generic First Order Trooper, which is quite cool. So, don't actually have any... Um, this is my first... Uh, oh, for God's sake. Force Awakens, that's it. Force Awakens set. Um, I got it because I want to do some Lego animations with Kylo Ren and I could have either spent £90 and got his shuttle or I could have got this one for 40 it's a no brainer really don't get me wrong I really do like the shuttle set and I'm actually bidding on one on eBay at the minute but it's not going to be a disaster if I don't get it um so the other two sets I got because I wanted a second clone tank, uh, not clone tank, hover tank, and but that does mean I've now got two Chirrut figures. I'm not going to sell him. Uh, I don't really sell Lego. All right, so got one first order trooper, and you got the traitor trooper. You're going to focus, focus, please. You two can go over there, stand up. Okay. On with the build. I don't think I've got too many of this colour either. But I'm actually trying to not dismantle the uh, stuff I build now. If I need to build, well, if I need parts, I'll order them. Dumb idiot. I was already making a mistake. Let's up like that.
Mm-hmm. I'm always happy to get more base, uh, more big plates. Uh, I'll probably end up getting a phone call during this stream because I'm just expecting one. Um, but they didn't say what time they were going to call. You can guarantee it will be during the stream. Which is always fun. Change my phone answer machine message to be this person can't come to the phone right now because he's bloody live streaming. I watched the new Spider Man last night, didn't think much to it. Don't get me wrong, it's a fun film, um, but. And very, very, very Iron Man kind of made me stick around because I'm an Iron Man fan. Who isn't? Well, actually, I know a few people that aren't. Um, see, I uh, my take on superheroes is that I don't like, like fantastical super abilities. Um, I mean, you could argue that the Jedi have those abilities, and they do, but they're not stupidly powerful as in there are people and things that can stand up to them right being other jedi sith um whatever superheroes with like say if we take take um superman there isn't a lot that can defeat superman except kryptonite or if you say his mother's name or something like that uh, I mean, I, I sat through Batman vs Superman, and I still I'm still suffering for that. It's it was painful, really painful. I've got a horrible feeling I've talked about this already. Probably have. Um. Uh, I oh I saw something else. What else did I say? I haven't watched uh, Star Trek Discovery yet because I'm not. It, typically, I actually cancelled my. Netflix subscription and uh, a couple of days later Discovery came out. I completely forgot about it to be honest. It's, I've seen the trailer I'm not overly excited. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big Star Trek fan. I love it. Um, I like the J.J. Abrams one but it's not it's in nowhere close to the awesomeness of the original TNG DS9 Voyager or even Enterprise. Enterprise grew on me. Um, I actually sat down and watched it all, all 90% of it, um, from the beginning on Netflix. I mean, I've got, I think I've got season, where is it? I've got one of the seasons, season three, um, mainly because it had that big, quite a few battles in it, because uh, they were fighting the, the Zindi. But the um the last Star Trek film, um Into Darkness wasn't terrible. I mean the poor Enterprise got the shit kicked out of it. Again. Everyone said, Oh, it's, it's taken the most damage. Uh, you need to watch the Voyager episode. Although I think uh The Enterprise kinda of disqualifies itself. From that one because it got destroyed whereas Voyager kept fighting till the last I'm not a fan of the new of the Enterprise A in the JJ universe don't know why they just that would have been fun if the new ship was basically the uh, constellation class I don't know what that is for Oh, um, it's to show me what that's for. There's a lot of double stacking here. It feels quite lazy. Did I miss? 
No, that's because I'm being stupid and I thought that was a double. Uh, that one. I just got lost. Lost in a 12 page manual. Goes on. Like that. And that is there because of reasons. Mm -hmm. Oh, these bricks, they seem a bit odd. They don't. Well, obviously they are Lego, because they're in a Lego set, but they don't feel 100% Lego. Or Legos, as some uneducated people call them. Lego is the brand name, and also it is a collective term for a group of Lego. Watching yet? Well, it's one person. I'm not sure if that is me. If not, hello, person watching. So I do like these bricks. I think the first time I came across them was in the Minecraft sets. Oh, I'll try that. Anyway. I think I've just found a good way to make some uh, Dalek sets. Oh, speaking of which, crap, where is he? He's downstairs, he's in the shed. I think this set's probably going to be recycled because I'm seeing a lot of parts I can use for that. Okay, guys, I've just got to take a phone. Quickest phone call in history, and I've just realised that I'm missing stickers. Oh, I've spilt rocks everywhere. That's still in the box. No. Uh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right. So. Are they in here? Have one of the folds. Okay. 
Got that there. Where was I? Done that bit. Foot. That. Here, there. Probably one of my favourite sequences in the entire film uh, that takes place on Takan. Well, I'm just going to call it Maz's place because it's, it's easier. Um, people complain. I mean, all right, I'm I'm no I'm I'm no big fanboy of. Right, moving on to. I'm no huge fanboy of the Force Awakens. It doesn't really feel like a Star Wars film to me. You know, all the usual complaints, it's too much like Episode 4, blah blah blah, blah whatever. Everyone's entitled to like and dislike everything. But people complain that Finn can use a lightsaber. Well, it's, it's a sword. So it's a melee weapon. Uh, stormtroopers can use them. It's not widely known, but they can use them. The fact he's not super awesome with it, he, uh, I mean, he, he gets his ass handed to him quite quickly. And if Han wasn't there, he would have died. Okay, what's that bit? Oh, it's the cape. Oops. Okay, I thought that was going to be plastic. Uh, I was watching Force Awakens last night, actually. Um, yeah, he has two faces, that's cool. I'll give you the growling, growling one. Now, I'm going to give you the Long hair. I'll give you the helmet. Um, what was I talking about? Where's your lightsaber? Oh, okay. It's a bit of a cheat. Need a. Is that a. No, it's a grey hand. Um, in the shot when the resistance turns up and Finn says that's one hell of a pilot with reference to uh, talking about Poe although he doesn't know it's Poe at the time because he thinks Poe's dead uh, oh he has two faces as well that's cool, I give him the angry one Poe shoots down 13 TIE fighters in one shot You order Domino's once, and I don't stop texting you. You can't deliver to my place. 
I'm too far away from you. Right. So that's uh, got Finn. If you're gonna focus, you're not gonna focus. And then Mr. Growly himself. Arr. So what we're we making now? We're making a door. A large, important-looking, heavy door. Bit of a Doctor Who reference in the uh, Star Wars Lego building. Now, has anything else interesting happened? Uh, being asked to do some filming at work, which is interesting. They want to start doing YouTube videos of making food, which I've been suggesting them, them to do for ages, but uh, they've finally cottoned on to the idea. I'm not going to go on my channel. Unless I'm going to start managing theirs. Which I'll have to charge them for. Okay. And then we have to do. Yeah, we have to do another one. Okay. So I've done it. I must admit, I'm kind of rushing this because I want to get to building the, the shuttle. Because it has possibly one of my favourite figures on there. Um, and I'll show you him when I get around to him. Not one of my favourite characters, but the figure is absolutely hilarious. I was looking through Lego's um, site and it, it gives you a close up of the different figures, and I saw him and I thought, oh, I've got to have that. Okay. It's an interesting way of doing it all. Move up away. If only that was a little bit might, mm, might work. So we're planning ahead, planning ahead. Okay. Two of these and there. One there. there. Well, that's not on straight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not on straight. I 
I wasn't too fussed about this set when I got it, but I must admit I'm growing to like it, just because of the detail. Kylo fall down. <laughs> Oops. Hello, Phil. I was tempted by, um, Poe's Starfighter because you get BB-8 um, but interestingly because you can get two versions of it you can get the resistance Starfighter which is the blue and grey blue and grey one but I think it's meant to be the one that Poe has um, when he gets captured because it comes, it comes with the old guy and uh, flame trooper um, but I, I, I'd, pretty, I'd like a red one of the uh, classic X Wings. I must admit that took me longer than it should have to fix. Never mind. Okay, does I have to go? No, it goes there. Is it? Yeah. Uh, be right back.
Sorry about that, guys. Uh, bit of an emergency at home. Everything sorted now. Or should be. Do I need to do two of these? I don't need to do two of these. Yeah. I, um, my mum had a bit of a uh, asthma attack this morning. So they called the ambulance. Ambulance turned up. Said, oh, there's nothing really wrong here. They gave her a bit of a nebulizer and then we're on our way. Um, she's just been to the local GP to get some, what do you call them, a nebulizer packet, some strong ones. And the doctor suddenly said, uh, no, you should be in A&E right now because you've got a respiratory problem. So. Guess who is going to be filling out a complaint form for the ambulance service? And um, because we're such a small place, I know pretty much all the ambulance people around here because I've sadly had to deal with them a lot. I'm just grateful that my uh, auntie was with her. Yeah, mascot carries the remains of Darth Vader. It's like that, um, that dude in the fifth. No, not the fifth. What am I talking about? Um, the the third Wolverine movie. I think it's the third one when he gets the um, the adamantium sucked out of him. And the the Chinese guy, like the head and like, oh, and the Wolverines, now you feast me, and sort of thing. That was incredibly racist, I'm sorry about that. But, I think that's what it was like. You give me a gift. Now it's just gone Russian. You give me the gift of life, I take it from you. Um, okay. The third and final bag. The third and final bag. The most stuff in it. Certainly the. Alright, we've got some Technic parts in here. That's. creepy little thing it's kind of like she's kind of like the like E.T.'s auntie no E.T.'s grandma I guess she's not even gonna get you know go over there I'm really not bothered about the figure <laughs> And plus she's got the poseless legs that basically use for children. It's there.
Is that right? No, it's not. Dope, idiot. So you're showing that as grey, but there is no grey. There's the beige one. Oh, no, there's no. Yeah. I wonder why they've started turning these yellow instead of grey. So is this actually going to do something? Maybe. Should that be that grindy? I don't know. Um. I was going to say something, but then my. trailed off. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually get around to watching Star Trek. It's just it's it's on my list of things to watch but not really on my list of things to watch as soon as possible. And I kind of had to force myself to sit down and watch um, Spider-Man. But I only did that actually because I was watching, I'd, I'd watched Captain America. Which are good movies. First one's a bit rough, but... I honestly didn't see, I was kind of annoyed when Bucky died in the first one. Um, and then he came back in the second. I was like, yay! And then he turned out to be a complete asshole. And granted, I know he was conditioned and whatnot, but don't like him now. He made Tony mad. I'd love to see some rejected Lego ideas from not not from obviously fans, but from my internal. You crazy? We can't build that. Or oh, what is that? That is ridiculous. I said I'd like to see them do is the um, Tantive Four, uh, the end of Rogue One with Darth Vader. I'm not sure if we're going to get any more Rogue One sets. I hope we do. Because we've got. Uh, I'm trying to think what sets we could still have. Could have the vault. 
Okay, two died. Beautiful. Um, we could have. I'm probably forgetting one obvious. We could. We could have the uh, the the ASO's apartment and Coruscant. The Edu lab. Lego could make their own um, cargo shuttle, although it probably it would not be as cool as the one that is unrebrickable. Okay, what the hell is this? Hindrance that help. Oops. Opa. Oh, is this going to do? This is going to be the collapsing tree that was so prevalent in the film. I wonder how they're going to top the um, Millennium Falcon. They've got to at some point. And what will it be, and how expensive will it be? One thousand pounds for a Ultimate Collector Series anniversary Lego block. Twelve thousand pieces. Now you can know what it's like to have a life-size Lego brick in your own home. Step on it, trip over it. Stub your toe on it. Okay, now I know why they tell you to put it on all the time. Okay, so seven. You stand up, please. Probably should actually be building here, but I'll do that for uh, Krennic's shuttle.
keep hogging that brick. I'm sorry, but I've got to take it away from you. Stand that. Ah! Mascot, you idiot. You stand there. I'm a Dalek to keep you company. Okay, that's interesting. That's a new piece I've not had before. For a simple set, there's quite a lot to this. I think I said that last time too. can miss the glaring and the obvious. Service kept in there, yes. Okay. 
Okay, so then we take this and slot it into there. these and they get there That's it, apparently. So why, what's this bit for? Where does that go? Ah! Goes there. Oh, and the crate fell out. Okay, so. Tree falls. <laughs> Tree falls down. Oh no. Yay. No. That should be him. No. And then. Stuff falls out. I think it kicked the. Oh, it didn't kick the chest out. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, the first set done. Missing anything? Oh, okay. You, yeah, cool. And apparently that door thing was. Oh no, I read that wrong. I thought you pushed that and it opens the door. No, you don't. Okay, cool. There's one done. Now for this beast! I can't show you on camera because it's too big. Uh, where's the... Oh, it's a knife job. Okay. Luckily, I have my trusty scalpel. Ooh, what's a thick manual. Oh my god. I think I might have... This might be a three hour stream. Okay, so... This time I'm not going to lose the stickers. Jesus Christ, it's a um oh, it's only 158 pages. And the other one the one that I just done which took me an hour was <laughs> 72. Okay. Right, okay, so we do just Bag one. Uh oh. Potential bits for the Star Destroyer, and they're grey. 
Are they, uh... Yep, the 16. I'm building the Ultimate Collector Series Star Destroyer basically from the plans that I got online. And you need a lot of these in grey. I'm half... If these turn out to be hidden, I will be ripping these out and replacing them with coloured ones. Because with the, the Star Destroyer frame, uh, you need to actually see... You actually see the grey underneath. So having a yellow beam ruins the effect. Another one of them. Uh, Krennix cape and the Death Troopers pelicans. Right, first off we start by making Krennic. No, he just has normal black to losers. Let's might as well get the other ones as well. Those look kind of ominous with his cape. They've changed the fabric of capes as well. He only has one head, one face. Oh, you don't get his silly little hat with it either. That's a shame. He just get his blonde hair and his super suave silver gun. That's a uh, chronic. Again, you're not going to focus, are you? Nope. Uh, you can hang out there, and then I might get one of the the small battle packs just so I know I can have a complete squad of four. Death troopers, or oh, I could just buy this one again. If I had the money, I would. Oh, what I don't now, I wouldn't. Angry little death trooper. I think probably what I'll end up doing is building the hover tank off screen as I've already done time lapse and I can't seem to get this one on. Get Okay, so I've just struggled to get a thing on a minifig. This doesn't bode well. <laughs> I really, really wish they'd made the audiobook. Is it Cataclysm? Let me just check. Catalyst, uh, which is a Rogue One prequel. Uh, it tells the story of uh, how um, Galen, Lyra, and Krennic met and how um, why they came to hide. It's just a really, really good story. I 
I'm probably going to have to move the minifigures off the uh, the table when I come to actually put this thing together. I don't actually know how big it is, but judging from the minifigs, it's going to be quite big. Oh, I could always also use these for the cargo shuttle. Oh, Krennic shuttle, I don't think you're going to last very long. The temptation, I've already dismantled the uh, Republic frigate to get bits. I keep looking at the 8080 that I've got that has four or five of those grey beams in them. I'm like, no, don't you dare. And now we've got next door banging. Yay! Not. Never mind. I don't want to know how Lego price their stuff. So like, is it by pieces? Is it by weight, size, the way of the tide? Okay, I'm just gonna start moving some stuff around because it's becoming a bit too crowded. You lot can go over there. This up here. Okay, so we've got to do all that again. That's cool. Again, you think I remember how to do this considering I've just done it. But no. I read something yesterday about people calling Rogue One a perfect film. It is far from all perfect. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a big Rogue One fan. I prefer Rogue One to Force Awakens, but no film is ever perfect. I mean, there are some dodgy bits in uh, Rogue One, actually mainly centred around Jin. Um, I think one of the biggest things for me was her speech on the cargo shuttle. We basically said, right, we're all probably going to die, so let's just go crazy. Hey, already on page um, t 11, and we've only been doing it for 10 minutes. I, mean, I, I don't normally go out of my way to find holes in films or TV, but if they're staring you in the face, saying, hey, look at me, I'm an obvious plot hole or error, then I'm going to notice, I'm going to call it out. Is this better viewing than it being in the centre of the desk, or has it not made any difference? I 
big chunky arm keeps getting in the way. second what's going on here don't stupid how have I done that seriously how have I done that That's how. Because this bit should be not like that. See, when you think you've been clever and speeding through something, it's easy to get it wrong. Could be me being stupid, but sometimes the colours are a little hard to um, understand. So I, I thought there's a bit here I thought was dark grey, but it's not. The reason I know it's not is because there's no dark grey two by three. Hello, Devon. How's the Second Empire series coming? Um, hmm. It's not at the moment because I haven't touched anything animation related in a while and the reason for that is that I've just not had the time or the energy. Um, episode 12 is going to be finished at some point but then after that I'm not sure. Sorry if that disappoints but I'm just having less and less time to do um, animated things and my motivation really isn't there. I mean, I don't sit down and think, ooh, I really want to do some 3D animation. It's like, ugh, I've got to do some 3D animation. And that is not a good place to be. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh-oh. Clunk to it now. All right. Are these stickers? Yep. 
Yeah, that's another thing as well. The fact that it is taking longer and longer to produce episodes. Um, I probably should not have taken on the project in the first place because it is just too complicated. Um, I'm not just going to... I'm going to do... I have kind of come to a decision, but it does need to be finalised. As in, I need to commit to it. Um, but if I do decide to stop doing this series, there will be some kind of payoff. Um, I mean, a lot of people have put time and effort into it, not just me. Uh, which Battlefront do I prefer? Uh, in terms of enjoyment and replayability, um, the one that was released a few years ago, uh, the one where you could play as stormtroopers, clone troopers, droids. Uh, I've still got that on Steam, actually. It's, I, I play it every now and then. It's... I'm actually going to do an update to Second Empire probably tomorrow and then upload it. Uh, but to be honest, you're the first person to ask about it and I'm surprised about that because I normally get loads of comments saying, when's the next episode coming out? I mean, something I might do is obviously stop releasing episodes and then just like work on it in the background. And when I've got enough to do a continued release, like maybe once every couple of weeks, I'll release it. Because I've, I've still got all the files, I've still got the, the voice tracks and everything, so... Yeah, sure, I might do that tomorrow. Actually, I'll, I'll stream some classic Battlefront. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Whew. Thought we were missing a bit. If you're wondering what I'm building, I'm building Krennic's shuttle from Rogue One. <laughs> I hope you're being sarcastic when you say the David Tennant good times. I mean, it's not a problem if you're not, but... Hey, don't not Chris Chibnall. We haven't seen any of his stuff yet. Uh, Russell T. Davis, nah, he started the bad ball rolling. If I'm honest, in his interviews, he said, "Oh yeah, it's got to be a doctor, but a huge weight wadge of 2005 shoved into it." No, it's 
Doctor Who is its own entity. You complete uneducated retard. Uh, Moffat has the mentality. I I always imagine Moffat writes his scripts in crayon. Sticks them on the fridge. All right, Moffat, what have we got today? I got a picture of the doctor holding hands with a giant great big sponge monster. My god, Stephen, that's amazing. I know. And then Clara comes back and saves her, but she died, Stephen. No, she didn't. She comes back because she can. Because she's my girlfriend. Uh oh. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely lost bits. Hmm. That isn't good. I am missing bits. Why am I missing bits? Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Sorry. That confused me, actually. I thought I was... Hello, Max. Uh, what Star Wars set do I? Well, at the minute, I'm building Krennic Shuttle. I've just built uh, Maz's castle. And um, downstairs in my shed, I have... Um, the AT-80, the ATST, uh, the all-terrain, oh, the, the one from the Clone Wars, the six-legged one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, Public Frigate, Django Fett, Slave One. Uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin's Jedi Starfighters from episode Obi Wan's from episode two and three, and Anakin's from episode two, episode three. Classic Darth Vader's Tie Fighter, Tie Bomber, Tie Fighter, quite a few. Hello, blow boy. Uh, would I try and build a Lego Dalek? Where are you? I have um, these guys. Uh, the character building ones. All terrain, yeah, A T T E, all terrain tactical enforcer. Um, I can't because they are some. Most of them are disassembled, and the rest are downstairs in the shed. And the camera I've got isn't portable. Right, what was I doing? Can show you in a video I can upload. Right, get out of the way. I did actually used to make Lego Daleks. Um, they're, they're like three or four times the size of a minifigure. I'll bring one up next time I do some streaming. And uh, no, I haven't seen that YouTuber. I don't watch a lot of, um, if he's a Lego YouTuber, uh, I don't watch a lot of Lego YouTubers because they all do the same thing. They all have a big Le Lego city, they all do 
the same reviews. They all say the same thing. It's just like gamers, really. New game comes out. Jump on the bandwagon. Oh, look. It's another Let's Play of Call of Duty. Or it's another Let's Play of... Uh, that horror game, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, it just gets boring after a while. But then you get the retro gamers that do retro games. They're quite cool. Can't tell it pisses me off that gamers get what well, they inside. Like, they do hardly any work and can earn a living off it. it really winds me up. I miss bits. I have. This is going to be the most useless ramp. Some kids screaming outside. Probably because they found the bear trap I left for them. Ha ha! Take that, kiddies. People say to me, uh, Andrew, you're going to be the, uh, the crazy old guy that throws stones and shouts at the kids as they go into his garden to get their ball back. He says, what do you mean, when? Well, I'm already that guy. Kid comes near the garden, I stare at them and out the window. Get away. Shoot. So at the minute, I don't know what we have. No, no more stickers. Now why are you just printing them all clicky or to give us three of that brick rather than making us do stickers? I don't know where all this detailing comes from because we never really saw it. We saw one shot of inside the 
transport bay of the, the shuttle. But we don't really see anything else. Okay, guys, I will be back in a couple of minutes. I'm just going to go and feed the animals.
Okay. Animals have all been fed. Something to eat. Mine, stay away. Right, where are we? If I paid attention, so then that goes there. You feed one animal, and then they all come running. Have to make sure. Got three chickens, and um, one of them's partially blind. Very, very little sight left, but she can. She's still healthy. Still walks around and knows where roughly everything is. That's cool. Um. And you have to make sure she she recognises we've got a green scoop that we used to fill up with food. She recognises that as food, so we have to give it, put it in front of her. And the other chicken, the boss, likes to push her out the way and tip it all up, and then she can't get any. Bully. No idea. Oh, it's a seat. Okay. Interesting. There's that. Okay. Another bag done. On to the third. So, Devon, if you're still here, what were you um, on about with that YouTuber? Before I went off on one.
you doing, kids? It's nice you're playing outside now, but can you do it a little bit quieter, please? I think we might beat the record of uh, my stream length. I think the, the longest stream I did was about three hours. Okay, so two bits came off there, where are they? interesting way of doing things.
So this is uh, feeling a bit flimsy, to be honest. Good job these aren't grey and one stood bigger because I would have totally um, cannibalised them for the Star Destroyer. Okay, what am I missing? One, two. That's what I'm missing. Missing something. There's the bits I was missing that flew off. Wrong bit. Did 
didn't think they used these parts anymore. Okay, that's looking cool. <laughs> Doesn't actually fit in the shot. There you go. Ooh, oh. Oops, I've got one more bit to do. Well, it's got plenty to do. One more bit from this page. Did you go? There you go. Hello, Geek Sentry. Not too bad. How are you? That's why there's so many bags, because you do one wing per bag. Okay. <laughs> and now we come on to basically the reason I bought this set. Now it's probably going to seem a very silly reason when you see what it is, but I'm hoping it will win you over. Getting close to two hours, and we are about third, three, um, one third the way through. I did not have to work that out at all. Okay. Together. It's not that bad. Did he have a gun? I don't know. show you in a minute, I promise. It's going to be such an anti-climax. Okay. This is the Bodhi figure, and now just look at that face. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, but amazing at the same time. I'm not sure if I can get it any. It just looks like he's been bopped on the nose. He's like, hmm. Um, but his other face is a little bit more confusing, because that's his other face. But I'm going with that one for sure. Come on, focus. There you go. Oh, I hope you do well in your finals. Sorry, I was having fun with the body. 
Oh, and I've got this other guy. I don't know who he is, what he is, but he says Carabas, so. He can't be all bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, he has two faces as well. Sorry, I've been getting text messages all day, a bit of a family drama going on, but everything is stable, everything is fine. Although the ambulance service is going to get a very nasty phone call from me tomorrow. Saying, what the hell, you should have taken my mother to the hospital, but you did not. She was clearly in respiratory distress. We pay for our medical services. This is your job. Anyway, back to Lego. So, that's the other guy. Um, I can't remember his name. Um, Cassian says, is it is like one of his, I don't know. Right. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to make these wings bigger because they don't look too big and they are. It's um it's nice that they do look derpy, yeah, I agree, but it's nice to have um some variation in faces. I mean, I, I, I remember years ago when you were excited when you got the moustache guy or the the funny twirly sideburns. And this is back when the default face was just the smiley and it was amazing when you got like a, a small smile. This is also back when a big set like this would have cost me about 30 to 40 pounds, not 60 when it... Well, no, no, what's it cost? 70, and that's even marked down. Um, but, you, I mean, you've got to allow for inflation and all that. And It's a also a good job that these aren't grey because these again would be recycled into the Star Destroyer. In case you missed what I said earlier, I'm building the Ultimate Collector Series Star Destroyer from scanned plans. Um, and I've already earmarked a couple of pieces to be used. These two, the supporting beams. Though I do have plans for a bigger Star Destroyer. Not the Super Star Destroyer, but just a bigger model that has an interior. I worked out actually it would cost about fifteen to sixteen hundred pounds. Which is kind of insane. And this wing is getting big. No, true, we are not at um, World War One Germany inflation rates yet. Where you have to carry a wheelbarrow load of cash just to buy a loaf of bread or an egg. I 
and I am complaining about the prices of toys, which are luxury items. Hey. Okay, M Master's Castle, you're going to have to go on the floor because... Like... Um, right, I'm uh, gonna go up there. But I don't, but you, you are. You got grubby finger marks on the nice shiny plastic. Well, that is quite a, a substantial wing. You made a country game in, I'm assuming that means Minecraft. Um, what was it, a game like um, Risk, where you take countries over? Tell me more. I once played a game of Risk that um, we added the rules you could make up alliances and treaties that last for a certain number of turns. And that made the game last for eight hours, and we never finished it. Because one of my friends was just like, oh yes, I'm just going to, I've got a treaty with everyone, so no one can actually do anything. He was a sneaky, uh, so-and-so. I miss playing Minecraft with people. Um, I was actually watching some of my old uh, server plays, and yeah, they were a lot of fun. It's just people start to lose interest in the game, and then you have to rent the server, and it's like, do I want to continue renting the server? Um, but then if you play on someone else's server, you go through the same thing of, oh, is this the last time I'm going to be building this thing, and then how many ever weeks or whatever you put into building the thing you've built are lost. But I guess that's the joy of Minecraft. You just start over again. Sounds fun, actually. Now coming as a new player, the Dalek Empire. Whoops. You will all be conquered and destroyed. 
Those who do not serve will be exterminated. <clears throat> Sorry. Flashbacks. Creative plot server. Oh, it's okay. So it's, I've never really played creative much. Um, the only time I, I ever I've done it again. The only time I ever do is uh, when I'm testing builds or problems. I'm not gonna get mods to work because they don't work. It's kind of funny when you look up. Um, tutorials and you, you find a tutorial and the squeaky voice little kid comes on hi I'm going to teach you how to uh, to do this and first you're going to hmm? uh, what's the server called I might look it up creative creative fun Where's the other one? Where's it? Oh, there you are. Okay, what the, is this a... My wing support? If it is, it's huge! And I don't often say that. It is a wing um, hinge. My God. Okay. Is it a white listed server? Because you will need my username, which I have no problem giving out. Because of my otherwise, well. My hordes of adoring fans will track me down. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah, I do have Discord. Um, let me just. Let me have a look. Uh, applications. Discord. Oh, we have to update? Okay then. What's new? Don't care. Oh, whoops. Huh. 
I got um, an invite and it ex expired. Oh, I wasn't on Discord. Uh, my username is Dark Raven, capital D, capital uh, capital D for Dark and capital R for Raven. Still more to it. Hey, <laughs> took out Bodhi. I know what that invite was for, it was to join a player battleground server, which I no longer have any interest in doing. The game's kind of fun to watch, but I have a feeling I'd get bored easily. Numbers after the hashtag, that is a good question how do I find that out user settings no How do I find out what my full username is? Oh, um, hashtag zero three three six. Someone up with it's like having a choppy thing. I thought for a minute it was just going to say, "Okay, do that again," and it, well, it will do, but on another bag. Accepted. I 
Okay, now I do have to do all this again. So... Good news is, I've got two more bags to go. Okay, I've joined and I've just logged off because oh, I don't have time to be looking at Discord now. No, I'll be on at some point. Thank you for the invite. Um, yeah, I'll be on at some point, but uh, trying to be on while streaming is uh, more than my little brain can handle, I'm afraid. Speaking of, um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be doing YouTube, if I'm honest. So, um, I've been doing this for, I think, I joined in 2006, so it's been over 10 years, and I've not really, I mean, I think when I joined there wasn't really a lot of people that did it and earned a living off it. Um, But when when it became possible for people to do that, I was that was actually one of my goals. But I didn't want to sell out and just be a, a gamer. I mean, I've tried the whole gaming thing, and people just don't watch them, so it's it's fair enough. Um, I uh, you know, if people don't watch it, I don't do it. Uh, I mean, I do Lego and modeling because I enjoy it. And that's one of the key things you record and do stuff that you enjoy. But people are just like, oh, why are you doing all this? Why are you just like. Because at the minute, 3D animation and Daleks and all that just doesn't hold my interest. I like them, but I don't want to be 
sat at a computer tweaking polygons and stuff. It's just. I mean, I've got over 1,500 subs now, or 1,501, to be precise, which is, but to be, to be doing a living off it, I probably would need a couple of hundred thousand. Um, thank you. Uh, but also, you've got to remember the, that I didn't create Second Empire. A lot of people think I did, and I never, I've made it clear never to actually claim credit. I claim credit for animating them. I'm voicing some of them and putting them, the episodes together, but the story and the models I've never claimed ownership of. Um, there's no other. Well, I could get maybe a couple off MacMaster's website, but apart from that, you, he, it's all the models have come from him. Uh, but sometimes I look at all the comments saying, "Oh, your stuff is brilliant," and then I realise it's. It's not my stuff. It's my interpretation of the series, yes. But back when I started doing YouTube, I had a lot of ideas. Like, I had my Clone Capers series that I just stopped doing. And to be honest, I'm thinking about bringing that back just so I can do something that is more me. Um, I was starting to experiment with doing organic animation which I stopped because Second Empire took over because it's such a big project now, I'm sorry to go off on a bit of a, a rant but um, as an artist when you look at something and it's not 100% yours you can't really feel proud of it it's probably silly but that's how I feel I mean, I've created um, spin-off stories for Second Empire that include the Cult of Scarrow, the hybrids, then it eventually leads off to an entirely original series. Um, but... Well, I'm not sure if that's ever going to happen. I mean, I have, I have total respect for people that play games, record them, and have a blast doing it. That that's what they're doing because that's what they enjoy. I don't really have any respect for people that are being silly, kooky, in. Excuse me a minute. Hello? 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 Yeah, you? Yeah. Okay, I had a message from her saying she will call me when she knows more that mum's mum was okay and that was a little while ago. Okay. Yeah, I'm just waiting to hear from uh, Sandra, I guess. As in like a phone call or something. Yep, are you okay? Okay. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, everything's fine. No, only a only, uh, couple of letters uh, for me. Yeah. Yeah, you said that. Well, you said also said that it was a really good one, not the best. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, speak to you later. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. All right, bye. Oh, shoot, sorry. Sorry you had to hear that. I thought I'd mute my microphone, obviously not. Uh, just speaking to my dad. Mum's in hospital at the minute. Uh, oh, just broadcast my... Uh... I'm kind of annoyed about that, I just did that, but oh well. Never mind, never mind. Thing is with my dad that he, um, if you don't pick up straight away, he gets very annoyed. Because you should have your phone on you at all the times. That's what they're for. Oops. I do actually feel slightly embarrassed now, but oh, at least I wasn't talking to my girlfriend. If I had one, no, I have a lovely girlfriend. I was talking about gamers. Um, yeah, I don't have any respect for people that do it to kind of exploit people. Like, I am. Um, I guess that's the wrong word, but. People think they do a lot more than they actually do. I mean, if they were creating the games themselves, I mean, like, animators and everything. Animators, musicians, they create everything from scratch. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. What do you want? I've given you food. Oh, come in here then. I'm not going downstairs to give you attention. Sorry, the cat's just come upstairs. I want attention. I'm a poor lonely kitty cat. Yes.
We all need our distractions from life, I guess. That's why, I mean, a lot of people question why I collect toys and stuff, even though I'm in my 30s. I'm 31 this year. Look, Lola, if you want attention, you've got to come in here. I'm not coming to you, I'm busy. Um, and it's just an escape. Same reason I, I did YouTube, really. Um... Next bag. Ooh, there are a lot of plates in there. Yeah, there's a bit. I can see you staring at me. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thinks I'm mad now. He talks to his cat. And she yells at me. Oh, as I was saying earlier, you do what you want because you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy something, you don't do it. There's a YouTuber I watch called Emgo who does um, Transformer reviews. He does other reviews, but mainly Transformers. And uh, one of his... Oh, did I have to do that twice? Did I have to do that twice? Yes, I did have to do that. Why didn't you tell me to do that twice? And one of his uh, sayings is, um, you don't grow old because you stop playing. You pl you. No, where is it? You don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek and be proud. It's only because society says, oh, you shouldn't be playing with toys or playing video games. You're like, oh my god, you're right, I've wasted my life. But really, you should be saying, screw you, do what I want. I don't drink uh, alcohol at all uh, because my mum's an alcoholic um, and it doesn't bother me at all that people call me boring right that goes on there that goes on there we need two of these We need to do that twice. This time it told me, but I just didn't pay attention. Uh, where is it telling me to put these? Oh, right, okay.
Oh, that's cool. I have a nice black velvet trench coat with a purple lining. And uh, it's it's almost as like something the master would wear, the classic master. They stare thinking, my god, he's got class. So suave and sophisticated, Nespa. Hmm? What are we actually building? I don't know. You gotta be careful, because otherwise you're gonna start talking to yourself. Oh, shut up! Hmm? I'm not the crazy one. You are. Ah, oh, Delgado. Uh, I like the 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 first master to like really disappoint me was um, the. Oh, what was his name? The 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 one. Um, the the one with David Tennant. I can't remember his name. He. I mean, and Missy to to an extent disappointed me, but she's a good actress. But it's just that she didn't come across as dangerous, just simply mad. Whereas Delgado. And the others, they were... You knew that the Doctor was in trouble. You should, you should try and be a classic, like a someone who I didn't grow up with it because I, I I was actually born the the year it was cancelled. 
Um, but I did grow up with Doctor Who. Um, and it's just so aggravating to see what they've done to it. But there's no point yelling about it because they're not going to change. I mean, well, it might do, actually. We don't really know what's coming with uh, Mrs. Doctor. I am a Time Lord, don't you know? Yes, we know. <laughs> doing stuff off camera. Whoops. Oh, if it's going to tell me to do this again. No, it's not. It's not going to be that stupid. I'm going to have to do it again because it's one side, but. It should tell you at the beginning of the step, saying this is a something that needs to be done twice. into there, I think. Well, that's good that it stops it going up there. That's cool. Right, do this again. Da -ba, da -ba, da -ba -ba, da -ba -ba -ba. Seems to be a very hummable theme, the Jurassic Park theme. Although sometimes when I hum it, I um, I get the Stargate theme. Go, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Well then, if you had to cast uh, the Doctor and the Master in a uh, a film that really didn't have anything, it, it's like it doesn't really. It's like an expanded universe sort of thing, a what if story, and you have to cast both the Doctor and the Master for an epic Avengers type battle. Who would you cast, and why? I would class Tom Cruise as the Doctor and Brad Pitt as the Master. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? If you're watching this um, post stream, uh, let me know your comment, your choices. So I'm interested. They missed an option. They could have done a... Well, they, they actually kind of did meet dinosaurs in Atlantis. There's an episode where they come running back through the gate after being chased by a T-Rex, but they never showed you it, which was kind of annoying, but probably beyond the budget. Uh, 
Unless they had one of those guys dressed up in those uh, T-Rex suits, which are hilarious. I'd never have one, but... Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm not on Discord. Okay, when I when I was looking at the um, um why have I got these? Whoa! Sorry guys, another phone.
Right, maybe we can uh, finish this without any more interruptions. I know I was going to get some phone calls, but this is getting ridiculous. And I stupidly forgot to put these bits on. Um, what if the USA and USSR went to war in 1945? Um, well, that certainly would be interesting. Okay, last bag. Are we talking like alternate reality, alternate universe sort of thing? It would probably it, it might be like open warfare but then eventually I think it would calm down to be more like almost like the Cold War but a little bit more lively as in there was actual shooting going on I mean I know there was shooting in the Cold War but um, like there would be a lot of like spying and sabotaging and stuff like that and every now and then it might just flare up to open warfare again or they just blast each other to hell. And Britain would just be sat there going, Oh, what's going on? Stop it. Being bad. You should never go up, never surrender. Don't make fun of the Churchill. Oh, yes. Not that Churchill. It'd be like that episode of um, what you call it, Enterprise, when the uh, the time traveling aliens help the Germans take over. Or it'd be like that series Hardcastle, which I never had gotten to, and I've just forgotten to put together K two. How could I forget to put? Here's another reason why I wanted this set. Now I just need Jin and Cassian. Have I done that the wrong way? No. Focus! Nope. It's a little bit creepy, but... Yeah. K2. Okay, made a decision I am not going to make. I'm not going to put together the other set on stream. I'm going to do that in my own time because I am getting hungry. Coming up to three hours.
Um, I like what type of music do I like? I enjoy um metal is my music of choice, and I'm missing another. But I also enjoy classical soundtracks. If I hear a song on the radio, um, I like it. I will um, buy it. I don't rule out. Uh, well, actually, no. The only type of music I would rule out would be like rap and R and B and all that cheaply made rubbish. So if you like that cheaply made rubbish but when you have to listen to it for hours and hours at work and they repeat the same songs over and over again it's like someone shoot me Okay, that's what I was saying. When I first saw this set, and I was just looking at it, it looked very flimsy, but now I'm holding it, it's actually got quite a bit of weight to it. I forget. Phone is going to get thrown out the window in a minute. Try Sabaton. It's a good heavy metal band. I'll try that. Um, one of my favourite bands, actually my f absolute favourite band, is a band called Nightwish, who are a Finnish heavy metal band, and their new singer is amazing. She's good looking. She's got a great pair of lungs on her. I can belt out some really good songs. She's like. They're on their. Th I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. If you're not, they're on their third singer. They they had the first one for about ten years, and then she quit or was fired or whatever drama happened with them. And then they got a new one that sounded a little bit too poppy. She was good. She was just starting to warm up to it, and then she left mid tour. And then this new one was brought on, and she's like a mix. Of the old and the new and mm, she's just yummy. Now why didn't you tell me to do that when I was doing that in Swedish metal. I, I love Swedish metal. There's um, my brother's been trying to get me into pirate and Viking metal. It's oh, it sounds all very good. I don't really have the time to sit through a lot of it, to be honest. Bad, I know, but okay, it's you and there. might go away have some food then stream some games because I'm on my own tonight apparently oh I know what I could do I can actually uh, get some voice recording again some voice tests to do 
non Dalek ones. And maybe a Dalek one just to make something. Um, I know I've said this before, but it's a good job most of these pieces aren't, well, a lot of them aren't grey. Otherwise they would be assimilated into the greater project that is the Star Destroyer. That sounds cool. Feels very oh no, it's gonna be fixed. Cool. As soon as I complain about it, it's fixed. Nice. If you have it the right way up. There. 
Oh yeah, well like what takes getting you aha. Okay, I'm, I've missed something again, haven't I? What have I missed? Ah, that's what. And... So, that bit goes in there. That bit in there. And one more there. Okay. So I'm not going to bother uh, bother putting the uh, things in, but overall, I really like this set. I mean, that is a uh, that's a fairly cool little, it's not even little, it's a cool. Yeah, so. I was worried that the wings weren't going to be big enough. And I'm sorry about this, but that's tilted, but. Um, It's it's amazing how much this um, sets it off as well. So we can um, put for some reason Krennic's in the pilot seat. Hang on a minute. I just realized I'm gonna put the landing gear down. There we go. Chronic. Sit in the seat. Now you got your cape caught in. So then you can also have the Two death troopers sat here. Right, uh, I'm going to call the stream here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've been watching live, thank you. If you've been watching on uh, the recording, thank you for sticking with it. Um, it's actually made me curious to think how. Because I'm, I'm hoping to get um, the Lego Ideas town fishing set thing. That is actually quite big, bigger than this. I'm thinking maybe that will probably take me about four hours to do. So I might have to do that in two parts. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you again soon.